My name is Graham Goulden. Uh, I'm a former police officer. I spent um, 30 years in policing in Scotland and the last years of policing with the Violence Reduction Unit. And I retired still with a passion to reduce violence in Scotland. And I now look at the issues of violence with this leadership lens. How do we develop leadership within our society to take a stand? You know, many of the answers to violence lie in our communities. So that's what I do. My view that is that violence is a man's issue. It's a women's issue as well. But if you look at the statistics, we can't, we can't ignore the fact that the vast majority of violence is committed by men, against men. But when it comes to things like sexual violence and domestic violence, that, and domestic abuse, you know, girls and women vastly make up the, the vast majority of our victim group. And again, men make up our perpetrator group. Look at suicide as well. You know, our suicide rates in Scotland 75% of suicides in, involve boys and men. Violence is a man's issue. You know, for me, you know, male sexual entitlement is that, that, that ex expectation of um, sex simply because you're a man. And also I think it's that expectation to be able to you know, dominate a female simply again because you're a man. So in cases of domestic abuse, it's that power, that control over the female. And, you know, nobody is entitled to sex, not because you're nice, not because you're dominant, and definitely not simply because you're a man. We see that every day, you know, you just speak to women in your lives, you know, they'll talk about harassment, catcalling on the streets, and whilst we tend to minimise some of these experiences, or that's just banter or just a comment, you know, women order their lives daily to avoid these situations, and when they do experience catcalling, some of them are very, very scared. You know, male sexual entitlement is all around us. You know, it's in the air that boys and men are breathing. In many ways, it's the oxygen that we breathe. You know, men get messages about how they need to behave as men through the media they watch, or I would suggest that the media they consume. You know, we don't just watch things, we consume different media content. You know, pornography is the biggest sex miseducator we have out there. Um, in pornography, it's violent, it's misogynistic. Men win and women lose. And um, I think we need to be aware of that. I'm not saying you know, pornography causes violence, but it's a contributing factor. It defines relationships in many ways. And I think it's just, you know, for, for men out there, just to be aware of that and the messages that they're seeing on the, on the television, on social media, that, you know, that, that's where male sexual entitlement is learned. It's learned behavior, taught behavior from, from outside. For me, if we, if we are really serious about reducing levels of sexual violence and domestic abuse, you know, men's violence, some men's violence against women, we need to better understand male sexual entitlement. Let's not get defensive, let's not feel that we've been picked on as men, because this is very much about, you know, bringing men into the conversation, things that they can do to address levels of sexual violence or domestic abuse in Scotland. I think the first thing that all men can do is just to listen and you know, work through any defensiveness they may, they, they may have on this subject. You know, put your anger into responding as men. Um, you know, I think also what we can be doing is just be aware of the space that you're in. You know, if you're on a train, in a cafe, you know, I've been there. I've been the one who has just, you know, taken up more space than I should have taken up. So just be aware of the space that you're in. Um, you know, next thing, you know, demonstrate clear consent. And, I, and what I mean by that is if you're, you know, going past a, a woman on a train or in the street, you know, and you have to get past her, don't simply push past her, ask her if it's okay. It's about being kind, it's about, it's about being respectful. Um, you know, don't sort of get involved in street has harassment. Most men don't get involved in street harassment, but a lot of men still participate in what they would class as banter. You know, start to learn about the impact of words and language on women that you care about because the victims of sexual harassment, sexual violence are not just other people, they are more often than not people that you care about. So, you know, avoid these types of situations, but also when you hear other men doing it, have the courage to say something. You know, tell them that you're not happy with what's happening. Find a way to have a conversation with other men. There's many things that we can do to counter male sexual um, entitlement. It's, it's in the oxygen, it's, it's in the air we breathe as men. It's in, you know, the, the, the media stories we, we read, it's in some films. And we know that a lot of young men are, are, are really watching far too much online pornography. And in, 
in that virtual world in pornography, men win and women lose. It just reinforces that message that men are entitled to women's bodies.